The USS San Diego is a warship designed to deliver troops and equipment into combat zones, something the crew routinely trains for from their base in San Diego, California on the Pacific Ocean. But a closer look at the patches and colors of some of the uniforms on board are clues that their current mission has objectives about as far away from a theater of war as one can get. This is a unique opportunity, but it's well within the wheelhouse of what we do day in and day out. Lieutenant Jackson Cotney is a U.S. Navy helicopter pilot attached to the USS San Diego, conducting search and rescue operations supporting NASA's Artemis missions to the moon. During recent exercises in the Pacific Ocean, Cotney and hundreds of sailors worked with NASA's four-person Artemis II crew to prepare for a critical part of the complex operation the safe return and recovery of the Orion capsule and crew once it completes re-entry through Earth's atmosphere. This is the 11th underway recovery test. Captain David Walton is the commanding officer of the USS San Diego. Once the, the crew comes back, really their health and welfare is, is our number one concern. So getting them out of the capsule and getting them to medical treatment rapidly and then recovering the equipment for further flights Cotney is already an Artemis veteran. He piloted one of the helicopters monitoring the uncrewed Orion capsule Splashdown. that touched down in the Pacific Ocean at the end of the 25-day Artemis I mission in 2022. Naval aviators and the naval helicopter community uh, have been rescuing astronauts, picking up astronauts out of the water since the early Apollo days. For Christina Cook, who could make history as the first woman to orbit the moon, this training isn't just preparing them for a path already forged by astronauts five decades ago. It's helping them compete in a new space race where the United States isn't the only country with aspirations beyond Earth's orbit. The question really isn't why we go, it's are we going to lead or are we going to follow? Seeing this team work together and innovate to come up with a unique solution for getting four people out of the Pacific Ocean, the answer was very clear to me that we're going to be leading. The space kind of got back to being cool. Even though Lieutenant Derek Pelletier and most of the crew of the USS San Diego weren't alive the last time people reached the moon, they know their role in this training is one small step in NASA's greater leap in the Artemis program that doesn't stop on the lunar surface. The next step is going to be to Mars and beyond. So knowing that we played a part in getting humanity back to the moon and out into the, uh, onto the space frontier is going to be fantastic for us. So the importance that we feel as a crew is great. NASA astronauts Christina Cook, Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover, and Canada's Jeremy Hansen could orbit the moon as early as September 2025. The return of astronauts to the lunar surface is scheduled for the following mission, Artemis III which NASA plans to launch in 2026. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, San Diego, California.